So today, um, what does thriving really mean? And I just wanted to share with you that I've had a really interesting relationship with that word over the last, I guess, maybe two or three months. Um, for a while, I'd been kind of looking for a word that encapsulated what it was that I helped people to achieve. Oh, I'm not even sure I even like that language, <laughs> help people to achieve. But I guess the experience that I, I wish for people, I, I suppose, it's difficult, isn't it? Because I don't really see me doing that for other people, but more something that gets revealed on this inside out journey that I take people on. And for a long time, it was calm. That was the word. And I even used to call myself the Queen of Calm. That was my thing that um, that I spoke about. And I've just been to this lovely event in Spain called Viva, which I highly recommend. Do hit me up for the details about that if you want to know more. And at that event, I um, I was giving out my old business cards because people were asking for contact details for whatever reason. And I just, I've just, I was expecting my new business cards to arrive at home. I hadn't managed to get them done in time for the event. Uh, and anyway, I, environmentally, I like to use up my old business cards first. So I was handing out my business cards and um, saying, sort of apologising really <laughs> for, <laughs> for my use of the word calm and for being the queen of calm because uh, recently I'd really started to see that being the queen of calm was like um, me holding up calm as something um, something to be attained, something to chase, something to be trying to be, be like me. I'm the queen of calm. And, and it just suddenly over the I think over the summer, really, I just started to see that that didn't really resonate with me anymore. And that and then what's emerged from there over a, a series of conversations with coaches myself, uh, conversations with people around me, conversations with women who, you know, these high achieving, very stressed out, anxious, burning out women, very overwhelmed women that I work with, um, with them. And, and the word thriving has just, I don't even remember when I first sort of hit on it as being the word um and and i wanted to talk about that today because i think the word has really like when i would have you know a few years ago probably pre burnout when um i was <laughs> very much engaged in trying to feel better by manipulating the outside world i would have had thriving to mean all sorts of very different things to what i think it means now so you know it would have been about um, definitely about chasing things in the outside world like you know thriving in my career thriving um, in my relationship thriving financially um, thriving um, with my relationship with my children them thriving in terms of all the things they were doing and all the things they were achieving and I have to be honest that that drove me to burnout, that continual chasing of a better feeling in the outside world. And that is the cause of burnout. It, it fundamentally is. I know it's given, it's attributed to all sorts of different things, but fundamentally it is us chasing the source of our well-being in the outside world. And it isn't there which is why, you know, burnout is the result of that chase <laughs> because it's never ending. And because we're trying to seek a feeling in the outside world and because we are so desperately wanting that feeling, the the chasing towards this thing you might call thriving, perhaps if you from the outside in perspective, is is fueled to a to a ridiculous level with with a lot of energy and a lot of drive and a lot of determination by this drive by this desire to to feel 
good to to feel like we're thriving um when that's attributed to the outside world that's what we're doing and i think it, it's been really interesting because since i sort of settled on that word it's kept popping up all over the place so um at the Viva event, um, a lovely, one of the wonderful speakers, Dominic Scafidi, who I've, you know, I've, I've participated in a few of his programs and things and been around some of his webinars and watched some of his YouTube content. He, he spoke about that word thriving in his talk. And I was like, wow, that's cool because, you know, not so long since I've really settled on that work. In fact, that word, in fact, I've called my approach the thriving woman approach. Um, and I've also created a course for Insight Timer, which is called The Thriving Parent. Um, and I, I can really see that for me now, thriving means something very different. It's a... Well, I think it's a, it's a letting go of this, this continual attempt to create security by manipulating the outside world. Because that doesn't lead to thriving, it leads to exhaustion, as I've already said. And that, for me now, is much more how I see thriving. And that it comes to us really quite naturally when we begin to become more and more aware of, really, that thriving is our natural state we we have that capacity within us all the time and it is literally has nothing to do with the outside world nothing at all not our relationships not our financial status not how many clients we've got not our you know where we are in our career it literally has nothing to do with any of that it has to do with us seeing who we truly are and who we are not and what we are not. You know, when we begin to see that we're not our thoughts, we're not our emotions, we're not our behaviour, we're not all the stuff that we used to hold so dear or maybe we still do hold so dear, we're not how many holidays we have, we're not any of that. We are this capacity to thrive and so thriving to me looks more and more like like the truth of thriving looks to me like it's the capacity to do well in life no matter what our circumstances now there's a caveat to this this is not about spiritually bypassing where people are living in dire circumstances or having to handle difficult situations or grieving or any of that. It's not about saying human beings shouldn't be going through an entire, you know, up and down roller coaster of emotions on an average day, let alone in an average lifetime. But it is saying that as we move towards this idea of thriving, we become increasingly able to weather those storms, the outside storms and the inner storms, the inner weather the out and the outside weather, without feeling like we've got to keep trying to change the outside world in order to be okay, because that is just so exhausting. It really is so exhausting. And thriving is about connecting to that inner capacity that we have. Now, the irony is that when we stop trying to secure ourselves in the outside world, we, we stop chasing wants that are to do with how we are feeling and, and, and you know, how, how we are going to experience life if we just get these things in the outside world to be right, which can feel like that demented game of whack-a-mole I often talk about, you know, where the heads of the moles are bobbing up and you keep trying to hammer them down and you're not, um, it looks really weird with my left hand, <laughs> and you're not able to whack them down. 
it, it's it's not about that it's about seeing that you are already okay and then from there you tend to take different kinds of action into the world that do create the outside circumstances that are fun and joyful and create the things that we really want in life but it, it we so often go at it like the wrong way around almost you know if I get all this stuff to be okay then I'll be thriving then I'll be okay rather than I am thriving as as an entity that's what I am and from that place I, I move into the world I solve real-time problems I, I share things, I do things, I take action. Along that journey, some stuff will probably come up. There will be healing in that action-taking journey. And I'll be using my mind to solve those real-time problems that are not to do with me trying to feel better. And then I'll be thriving. Because I'll be really moving out into the world and creating things and doing things and actually having a really good time because that to me is is thriving is having a great time and creating joy and connecting with people and doing things and experiencing things all through your life but not with this overhanging heaviness of you know once this is all okay I, i'll finally be thriving so that's a real sort of different way of looking at thriving a different way of looking at fulfillment it's this inside out concept of that rather than outside in you know the thriving and connecting to that and connecting who you, to who you really are that comes first and then everything else goodness it gets so much easier i'm just seeing that all the time for myself and people who are you know working with the thriving woman approach it it it, it everything just gets so much easier and you just feel more like you're thriving on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's my little ramble today about thriving. Um, I hope you have found that helpful. Please let me know. Um, drop me a comment or drop me a message. And um, take care. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Thanks a lot.